we are on one of our night yeah. walks. Yeah. Slide. Yes. It's dark out. And yeah. we're the only ones at the park. This little guy had a pretty late nap, so he's gonna be up for a bit. So I figured we love I love night walks anyways, and so does he. Even though this isn't great for you know keeping his good schedule. <laughs> But, um, we had to get some energy out. Woohoo! I was thinking, um, you know, a lot of different things on our way here and thinking about all the different lives that I've led. Um, there was an air, every time I see an airplane, I always, uh, picture the flight attendants on board and, you know, wonder what stage. There's an airplane up there right now. They look like, let's see, they're coming from, I wonder what stage of the flight they're in, because most people don't know this, but I used to actually be a flight attendant um, before I was an addict, before I became a heroin addict, I was a flight attendant, <laughs> if you can believe that. Most people think of heroin addicts, you know, junkies as, you know, just <laughs> whatever, but... People don't just wake up one day and say, I'm going to be a heroin addict. Usually some things have transpired to land you there. But anyways, um, yeah, I had a totally different uh, life mapped out for myself. I uh, was definitely not going to be in the family way. I, uh, I've always loved to travel and being a flight attendant was perfect for me because, you know, I've never been uh, a moneyed kind of gal. So <laughs> with the flight benefits and stuff, it was the only way that, you know, I actually got to travel and I did a lot of traveling while I was a flight attendant. I used the hell out of those benefits um, and I feel so grateful for that. But yeah, I was gonna be, you know, just that that kind of cool older lady that, you know, has travels the world and that you, you know, maybe sometimes wonder if she ever gets lonely, but her life seems really full and, you know, that was gonna be me. <laughs> and, um, you know, obviously that uh, uh, different, uh, life has taken over and oh man, I'm so grateful not not to think like that would have been cool But I mean having my son, you know, it is something I never knew <laughs> That I could Want or need or love just so fully so But uh, yeah, I, I I've been to Paris <laughs> I've been to Hong Kong. Uh, when I was a flight attendant, I, I worked for actually two different airlines and I mostly did domestic flights. We did some Canada and some Mexico, but um, the traveling that I did was always like on my days off. Um, I would, you know, work my schedule out to end up with like a couple of weeks off at a time. I'd work my ass off for like two months and then get like a couple weeks off and, and go use my benefits. And um, I, that was, you know, I actually, I mean, obviously I got a lot out of it, but um, to be honest, I maybe didn't want to admit it to myself at the time. And maybe if it continued, I would have, found um, more fulfilling ways to spend my time but I did a lot of drinking um, I was lonely uh, even though I don't think I I admitted it even to myself I've always been kind of a loner anyways I I enjoy my own company uh, <laughs> a lot a lot <laughs> more so I, I uh, yeah as much as I like you know kind of get I get down on myself and I whatever, but I also uh, am my own best friend too. It's, you know, I mean, it's complex, whatever. I'm sure everyone is, you know, it's just not black and white. I hate myself, but I love myself too, kind of thing. But 
I've always just really enjoyed my my own company and uh, so and I love traveling alone I've always loved to travel alone um, a lot of people find that to be very scary but it was always super exciting and you can just yeah. <sighs> but um, and I really hope one day I will be able to be successful enough to uh, tr take a travel with my son to be able to show my son the world when I was a little girl, I would look up in the sky and I literally re remembered this feeling like so strongly, um, just picturing other humans like on the other side of the world, like, you know, in China or Africa, like other little kids my age or something. I pictured them looking up at the sky at the same time. And I would always think like, you know, it, it would make me feel very connected. It, it's really kind of hard to explain, but um, I always wanted to travel and I, I want to give that to my son. What'd you find? Is it a library? Books. Books? Yeah. You want mommy to open it for open. you? Look, it's locked. Say unlock. Lock. Lock. West Philly has a bunch of these, um, like, oh, whoa, careful. <gasps> whoa, you're okay. You all right? Watch your head, okay? Remember, there's a little, there's a slope there, so you got to be careful. Mommy will hold your hand, okay? Um, West Philly, I think I've showed these on a video or two before. They have these little, um, like, free library things all over. West Philly. It's one of the things that I love the most about West Philly. Um, I love a lot about West Philly. But, yeah, I think that's super cool. I don't know if that's anywhere else. Is that a thing anywhere else? Does other places have that? It was a, this is a, a West Philly um, is the first time I'd ever seen anything like it. But, yeah, I'm getting a little bit, uh, you know, and I was dealing with some depression there for the last like, couple of weeks, and I'm happy to report that um, I it seems to be lifting, which is feels really nice, you know, when you're struggling with depression and you have to just keep pushing through because you can't just, you know, you have responsibilities and stuff. Well, that's everybody. I'm, you know, but um, so I'm still doing all the stuff that I was doing, but I'm not feeling as heavy anymore. Thing. Thank you, thank you. That's, that's rough. It's a rough one. Come on, yeah, just wanted to hop on here and you know share a couple little things with you guys. I make my videos in three minute intervals, so I think sometimes somebody. You know, just sees like one video and they're probably like, what the fuck? I mean, a lot of people have said, what the fuck are you talking? I'm like, what are you talking about? You're not even making any sense. And it might be a continuation from another video. Um, not that I expect somebody to just sit there and watch all of my stuff. But if you don't understand something, it could be because I was talking about it in a previous video. So... Um, but I am also very rambly. Ah. Anyways, I hope everyone is just having a good week. Um, look at him go. I am so proud oh. of him. Good job, Baba. Are we not ready? Look at my little climber. <laughs> you climbing? Good job. You want mommy to stand behind you and get up on the next bar? Oops, stroller's rolling away. Oh, there's not a next bar to go. You want to go up there? Here, Mommy will help. Reach up. Reach up. Reach up. <laughs> go ahead. It's okay. <laughs> Good job. 
Dump.